Good morning and happy Saturday. I'm a little hoarse. I'm getting like a little sick. And after two years of not being sick, I'm like, what the hell is this? So if you thought a week in my life is very hectic and jam packed, wait till you see a Shannon Miller weekend. So today I'm going into my other job, like my former job. I have to finish up a client. Their sales tax was due yesterday, but I'm going to do it today. Oh, well, what can you do? They literally gave us their stuff Thursday. So gonna go in today on a Saturday hopefully finish that and then I have two birthday parties today one is in Jersey City it's for Danielle who we all know and love and then my friend Molly has a surprise 30th birthday today I'm watching Betty um, it's in Plainsboro wherever the fuck that is praying that my car makes it to one Jersey City and two Plainsboro you're gonna see this after the fact but please always pray for my car getting places I desperately need to go buy a car. I have the money, I'm ready. I just don't have the time. And pretty much all my weekends for the next five weeks are like this. I don't have a fucking minute to take a breath. Since getting the job, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna treat myself, get a foot massage or something on the weekend. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for a lot, but um, I did wanna go for a really long walk, so I figured I would walk to my office. It's about like a 25 minute walk. So I was like, okay, at least I'm getting my walk in, get some podcasts in, but it's also filling a need for me to go to work. So jam packed and my weeks are jam packed too. Like Monday, I wake up at nine, do Under Armour fitting from home from 9.30 to 11.30. And not wake up at nine, you know, I'll be up at 7.30 and then work from 11.30 to seven. So it never ends. So jam packed day, but I'm gonna get through it. Okay, just finished, it's like 2 p.m., a little later than what I wanted to stay here for, but what I needed to get done is done, and then I have a good idea of what I'm gonna work on the rest of the week. And yes, I will be the crazy person in here from eight to 11, then go home, 11.30 to seven, work my real job. Am I spreading myself too thin? Yes. So at least I know what I have to do this week, and the clients for this week are pretty easy, pretty, fast so not too worried about that we're thinking like five for danielle's i will literally probably be looking for a parking spot longer than i'll be at danielle's birthday but i will be making my appearance okay just left danielle's and as predicted like didn't want to leave you know like you're having so much fun but you're like i gotta go but like they're like you could stay but i gotta keep my word so i'm going to molly's surprise party the only other person I know who would be going is Heather and Heather is with Molly. So now I'm like, I think I'm gonna come at the same time as you guys anyways, but I just don't wanna ruin the surprise. But I was like, if I get there early, who the fuck am I gonna latch on to? But I'll figure it out. So I had Keith parallel park my car for me. And now I'm like, how am I getting out of here? There's maybe four inches in the back, two in the front. A lot of like a 19 point K turn. Happy <laughs> Good morning. So I didn't really get to update last night. Obviously yesterday was very go, 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 but I did make it to all of my affairs. So got to Danielle's. I spent like an hour and 15 minutes there. So I wish I could have stayed longer, but I got my FaceTime in. It was kind of funny though. Like I had Keith park my car in Jersey City, locked everything because I had my vlog camera in the center console of my car. I get back to my car, all my windows are open. And I was like, what was the point? So then I hauled ass to Molly's surprise party. So believe it or not, I was in a sorority. I know I don't fit the stereotype. So my little is Heather, and then Heather's little is Molly. And then Molly's little is Kirsten, who you might remember from the Salem vlog. Um, Kirsten is currently in Disney World, so she wasn't there. So I was texting Heather because she was with Molly, and I'm like, update me on the time and all this stuff. So I missed the surprise. That's okay. But Heather's like, there's a seat for you right next to me. So, cause you know, I hate walking in and being like, where do I sit? You know, no one likes that. And Heather warned me. She's like, there's two parties. So make sure you ask for Molly. Um, so the hostess is like, I think it's back there. I'm like, you think? I want to know, you know? So I walk by, but I don't see anyone I know. So then I walk by a few more times and I think I see Heather and then I walk by like one more time and everyone's looking at me now and I'm like, oh, okay, it's me, it's me, okay. But yeah, it was nice to see Heather and Molly. I haven't seen either of them since Heather's wedding two years ago. Heather's pregnant now and I, I don't know what it is about me. If you are smaller than me, I will lift you up. So when I got Heather, 
I'm trying to show you I'm not bald as usual. When I got Heather as a little, literally the first thing I was like, can I hold you like a baby? So all of our pictures for the past 10 years are of me holding her. And now I'm like, and now you have a baby. Ah! I pulled it off. My car made it. So very proud of her. I kind of feel like shit today. I didn't even drink last night. I think I'm just like overtired, but I do have a spin class. It's boy bands versus lady groups. So I'm going to push through that. I have a a few things to do today, mainly to prepare for tomorrow. So tomorrow I have Under Armour and work. Then Tuesday, two jobs again. You know, I'm spreading myself very thin, but I'm making it work. I do mention this yesterday. I just want a massage. That's all I want. Um, so I'm going to do my spin class and then maybe treat myself to Starbucks because I do have two rewards in my app. Okay. As usual, I feel amazing after a spin class. So like I said, it was a boy band, girl groups, spin ride. So like my body transcended because that's my jam. Um, something happened that I've never seen in a spin class before after my 365 rides. He played the monkeys. I'm a believer. And all 35 people in the class were singing along. I've never seen like everyone join in singing the power of davy jones happy monday so i just finished my under armor fitting basically an hour early we did the first two pairs of leggings and it was like 9 35 we were done with those he's like oh we're an hour ahead of schedule so we just plowed through everything my biggest thing was like basically everything is black and there was like 20 samples of bags and it's all like coded like nine digits so me trying to like needle in a haystack that stuff that was a little daunting, but we made it through. <laughs> I felt kind of bad that we went so fast because like I put something on and go, this is fine. But this is like the third round of fits. So essentially it all should be fine. So we did kind of go fast, but um, at least we're done because I was really nervous about the schedule. Like we were going up till 1130 and I start like my meeting with my supervisor is at 1130. So I was going to cut it close anyways. Um, but look at me, I have a whole hour to clean up. I do have to take pictures and all of these. So that's the hardest part doing the tripod and the timer on the phone. It's a process because even finishing an hour early, they were like, do we still pay you till 1130? I'm like, essentially, yes, because I could be missing another booking like you are buying my time essentially. So I get paid for two hours, even though I only worked for one. But with taking the pictures, it will take me another hour. So to have a little bit of leeway before I dive into another Monday at work where I don't know what's going on, it's good to have that. Okay, taking a break from work right now, Betty and I are at the park. I feel like I have a lot of wins and losses. Like she showed me how to do V lookups, which I should probably know by now, um, but I got it. Like, and it made sense to me. And then I was doing a lot of V lookups and again, it made sense. So I felt really proud of myself the other day. But then today she was showing me something and she's like, this makes sense, right? And I was like, yeah, in my head. I was like, no, it doesn't make sense. It's a lot of information at once. Not a lot of it is making sense, but I'm trucking through. I get my first paycheck tomorrow. And even though my salary is a full 30 grand, more than my last position, I feel like I'm still gonna be disappointed by my paycheck. Those taxes, baby, that's a lot. Hello, it's 7.45 p.m. So this has been a long day. I did a 7.30 a.m. spin class, came here to my other accounting office, worked for about an hour and a half, went to my house, worked at my real job till seven. So like 11.30 to seven. Came here, 7.30. Now I'm gonna, probably gonna work till nine. I just have like one month for each client, but I have like all the clients came in at once. So I'll probably do, I just did one that took like 15 minutes. I'm gonna do one maybe one more after this just to catch up a little because I don't think I'll get in here tomorrow. So I might come in on Saturday. So once again, spreading myself very thin. Good morning. So I brought my vlog camera around today and I was ready to do the whole thing. Forgot the memory card. So I am about to get my booster shot. So first of all, um, what is going off my eyeliner rubbing off on my eyes? I look like I'm in a high school production of cabaret um actually looks kind of cool but i gotta find some way to rub this off so i'm in the parking lot to get my booster shot just happens to be right around the corner from the mall so i did get my first paycheck yesterday i'm pleased with the amount i knew what i was getting but you never know after taxes and all that stuff what it would really be you know so pleased with the amount although i haven't signed up for my 401k or health insurance yet so my next one will be 
significantly lower, but I've done the math a million different ways. So I can budget with this, but I did want to dress Halloween-y today. So I have my unique vintage candy corn sweater, but I knew I had to get the shot. So I wore a t-shirt and then I'll like pop this on over. And then I have my unique vintage Halloween mask. So going full Halloween enthusiast today. So there's nothing like in particular I need from the mall. I just haven't been in a while. So I'm just going to walk around. I might stop at Ulta and get a bronzer just to liven me up. And then I'm going to see if Macy's or Foot Locker, I don't even know what's in the mall anymore. Any kind of shoe store might have some Nikes. I've been you know, going on my walks in my Walmart white shoes, which I love and they're doing just fine, but I feel like I need like an actual athletic shoe. And the mall does have a Popeyes, so that'll be going down too. So go get my shot and then go to the mall. Okay, that was so easy. I was literally like through the doors, sitting in the chair within three minutes. Didn't hurt, you know, honestly the first two, I didn't feel any um, symptoms, I think. Maybe I was just a little tired that day, but then again, it was also January, February, so I was tired all the time anyway. So easy process, now I'm done, and now I can go eat Popeyes. Okay, all Halloweened out. Got my sweater, got my mask, so tis the season. Um, I'm not aiming to spend a lot of money, but like I said, I do need shoes, and I might, you know, get a bronzer. We'll see. I don't know the prices. I asked my sister what she gets, because I usually just borrow her stuff, so... She says, what was it, benefit? I know that's a little pricey for someone like me who is cheap as hell, so we'll see, we'll see. I do like ordering online because you get better deals and I can use Rakuten, but like, I'm here, I'm in person, so we'll see. So I did realize I had five streams of income this week slash five jobs. So this week I had my regular nine to five accounting job, modeling for Under Armour, my hometown accounting job, babysitting and YouTube, even though I make enough money on YouTube to buy dog food, but like still five streams of income in five days. So I feel like I've earned the shopping trip, you know, honestly, I just kind of want to walk around the mall because I haven't done that in a very long time. So going to go to Bath and Body Works, smell some candles, not buy any because we know how many freaking candles I have in my room that I have to get through first before I can buy something new. I might get a soap though. Okay. $20 at Bath and Body Works. It's all soap. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Okay, so that mall trip was a little bit of a bust. I did get to walk around the mall and get out of my house. So that was a plus, but Ulta didn't really work out. I'm gonna wait for like birthday coupons. No Nikes, couldn't even find a shoe store. Macy's had a few, but I think I'm gonna go drive to a different location and actually look like at a sporting goods store. I went to Torrid looking for a Halloween costume. They didn't have anything. Even just Torrid in general, like nothing was tickling me. Also, I went to the clearance section and it's usually like overflowing, desolate. And then I had this wrong. I thought it was a Popeyes in this mall. It's a Chick-fil-A and they've kind of run a monopoly on the food court. Like everyone else is out of business because everyone wants Chick-fil-A and the line was like wrapped around the entire upstairs. So I opted for a mall pretzel, which I'm pretty jazzed about. So I did score at Bath and Body Works, only spent $20 because these soaps were four for 20. Um, so I got champagne toast, flannel, which I love, crisp morning air. So I was like, okay, if they have this, then I'll get stuff. And they did have this and it was a better deal to get four. So this one is just like fall personified. I wish I got it earlier in the season to like really have that fall boner going on, but this is my first time out um, in a while. And then rose water and ivy because this is just like classic all year round, smells good. So I got those four and I feel like I don't mind spending money on this kind of stuff. Yes, it's frivolous, but like you're gonna use soap. So I'm okay with that. I still need shoes and an iPhone charger. So I'm gonna go to Five Below and Dicks. What I do need to be careful about is Five Below because I will buy 20 items worth $5 and just go nuts. So hopefully I can rein myself in. All right, success at Dicks. So I, used to religiously wear the Nike Flex 9, and then I guess they discontinued them. So I just wanted like a very plain, walk around your neighborhood, plain ass black Nikes. Han Jun, I'm sure there's a nice name for that, but that's what I got. $65, which I'm okay with. My previous ones were 50, so, you know, add in a Chipotle burrito and boom, we're there. Also, if you think about cost per wear, I'm probably averaging like 15 cents a day. So um, this is what I got. And then I went to Five Below. I got two phone chargers. So at least I feel accomplished there. So not so bad. Now I'm gonna head home, 
make some apple crisp and then I'm babysitting again tonight. <laughs> it never ends. It never ends with me. Hello, so it's Keith's birthday. So I'm going down to Jersey City. We're going to a beer garden where I infamously threw up at my high school reunion. So returning to the scene of the crime, I've been there a few times in between. It's a good thing I don't get embarrassed. I had an outfit in mind. I had two actually. So I just tried on the Seinfeld puffy shirt from Munich Vintage and I put on a mod cloth pinafore that I've had for a while. It looked really cute, but I'm like, it doesn't just fit a beer garden vibe. So I took it off, even though this took me like a thousand years to button in the back, that neck thing. So then I did a striped shirt with the same pinafore. Again, it just didn't fit the vibe. And then I wanted to do, so this little orange sweater from Fashion Nova. And then I feel like maybe two hauls ago, I got Fashion Nova jeans with suspenders and they were light wash. They were really cute. And I was going to put on a white cardigan over it. Very fall. That's what I did in the try on. It looked really cute. Cannot find those jeans for the life of me. And I, I feel like I recently reorganized a lot of stuff. Cannot find them. So I have the sweater on and then I did the unique vintage overall dress. It kind of, you know, shoots out. So it's a little skatery. So this is what I have on right now. Still feels a little costumey. So I, I would rather have went for the jeans, like a more low key vibe, but like I'm very campy myself. So something kind of costumey. All right. Um, and it's still, you know, it fits the October vibe. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed I can't find those suspender jeans because I think that would have been really cute. And how often do I leave my house? I got to use all my Halloween clothes, you know? Shannon. Hi, everyone. Hi. All right, know, it's like, in my purse. Yeah. <laughs> I just opened your purse? Yeah. <laughs> is, is it McDonald's? <laughs> McDonald's! <laughs> also, one's for me. <laughs> Um, your girl is finally doing some Halloween stuff. So I got my trick or treat Shein sweatshirt on. Me and Caitlin, we're gonna meet at seven to go to this haunted maze. And it's like 6.15, so I was like, mm, I'll just come now. Also, there's a cupcake place in that town that I wanna hit up before we go to the maze. This is like a homemade haunted Halloween maze in someone's backyard. I've been to this before though. It is genuinely hard. So these guys are like engineers and um, there's like false walls. So if you like lean back, It'll like open and you're in another part of the maze. So it's legit. So I don't know how they did this. My mind doesn't work like that. Wow, this terrible lighting. So I made it. I am running a little early. So I secured us the cupcakes. Sound parking. So it's not going to be a madhouse. I'm sure it's a madhouse on the weekends. I am now remembering that they do have something in their front driveway that's pops out at you. So I need to remember that and not embarrass myself when it does pop out at us. So yeah, I'm just waiting for Caitlin and then we'll head in. Oh no. No, I do not like this. <laughs> These faces are too realistic. I don't like it. <laughs> but the maze itself, I don't think is haunted. Like there's not gonna be like, you know? No, I think it's just a very confusing maze. Like I said, I did it with the boys and I got out and I'm like, I'm not getting back in there to help you. <laughs> okay. But, um, so this place literally like if you lean on a wall it might open it's one of those kind of things I'm like how did they build this yeah the last time I came here they said there was seven doors but she didn't say anything this time right, we found a hidden door there we go an actual clown this is not a haunted maze it's a it's a maze it was a clown we screamed Caitlin pulled a muscle okay we are I think wait we gotta find the snake room You guys, <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna be haunted. I thought it was gorgeous. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've definitely haven't been in here yet. <gasps> oh my god. Everything. Oh, it's new. This is good. How did they build this? No, I saw this dead clown baby before. <laughs> no. Okay, we're in the snake room. We finally made it to the snake room. <sighs> Yeah, I finished. That's it? 
Ew! <laughs> Ooh, someone just touched my boob. <laughs> oh, we can't make it out. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, well, the clown's there. That child. I, okay, yeah. Door. It's been over an hour. We only made it out because of a child. An eight-year-old. And we thought he was fucking with us. We're like, no, but yeah, no, we did it. Like, no, I'll show you the way. Let's go. <laughs> and we finally made it out. Over an hour. I don't. I, yeah. We gotta take the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was a lot of fun. Legitimately hard. It's like a haunted attraction, but it's not meant to be a haunted maze, like people going like, Ugh! after every corner. But there ended up being two scary clowns in the maze. Why? Although, the last time I went, it was like Tuesday at 3 p.m., so maybe that's why there wasn't scary clowns and it wasn't scary, but there was people popping out clowns. Me and Caitlin like literally screamed like children. There was a bunch of sixth graders in there. They were all screaming and I thought they were just being like kids, but no. Scary clowns popped up, scared the bejesus out of me and Caitlin. There's a lot of trap doors. We kept thinking we were onto something and then we'd end up at the beginning. Um, I, towards the end, all the trap doors are on a pulley system, so I kept finding the bungee cords. So I was following the bungee cords. At the very end, this little boy was like, follow me, so we did, and that's how we got out. So thanks to a 10-year-old, we made it. But we were literally in there for probably 45 minutes. It felt like hours, but way too long to be in a backyard maze. Good morning, happy hollow weekend. Again, you're probably seeing this November 15th, knowing the way I edit. So I'm doing something a little unhinged today. I'm going to Boston for a Halloween party. So I met John and Shannon at Camp No Counselors in 2018 and we hit it off immediately. We've been going to every other Camp No Counselors since and they are the nicest people I've ever met. And ever since we met they're like come to our house for New Year's, come to our house for Halloween. You know like always invited me up but I've always had a POS car. I still do. So after four years I'm finally going to John and Shannon's house for a Halloween party but I've rented a car to go up to Boston to do this. So unhinged behavior in renting a car, driving four hours and going to a party where I only know the host. That is me in a nutshell. For me, it's that walking in thing and not being buzzed yet. Like that's gonna be probably the worst part. Also, I usually don't throw up anymore, but sometimes when I'm nervous, I drink a little more and then I barf. So. Hoping to not barf in front of strangers tonight. I'm gonna wear my Dorothy Halloween costume that I wore last year, and I'm hoping it fits. It should, but you never know. So I'm gonna try that on, make sure it still works. But yeah, that's my plan for Halloween. And again, I have a packed weekend. I do not have room to fart in my schedule. So I'm hoping next weekend I have nothing on deck. Just relax, do nothing, finally get my massage. Um, Money-wise, this did work out though. So last weekend I babysat two nights in a row. I made $110. My rental car came to 105, so it's kind of a wash. I'm gonna have to get gas and stuff, but like kind of evened out. But I just knew this car would not make it. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I got a long day ahead of me, but it should be fun in the end. <laughs> Reporting live from this party. It's fucking loud. I know three people here. Ooh. Having fun though. Hi friends, so I figured I'd wrap it up here. I just finished a meeting at work with the whole accounting team where I was introduced and I had to have a fun fact and I was ready. And then everyone said, this fun fact cannot be topped. So, haha. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.